My name is Quinn Conyers. I'm the proud chief fashion officer of the Purse Paparazzi, and I allow women to carry what they care about. My custom bag business specializes in unique purses and clutches for women who are members of a sorority or who attended a historically black college. Currently, I'm licensed with seven sororities and 11 HBCUs. Howard University is just one, to name a few. In 2017, the Purse Paparazzi generated over $189,000 in sales. And I'm super excited for this opportunity to participate in Who's the Boss show. And the reason is because I know that it takes a couple different things to be a boss. And one of the things that people talk about is either what they've accomplished or the accolades that they receive. And I believe just the opposite. What makes you as boss is the ability to keep going despite obstacles or despite setbacks. It's easy to be a boss or to be in business when everything is going great but you're really a boss and your character is truly tested when you're not making money or you feel like quitting which I've all thought about at one time however the opportunity to learn and grow keeps me going every day the opportunity to learn from Courtney and her team is just one more step that I need to be successful as a boss and what else makes me a boss is I jumped out there as a full-time entrepreneur I decided to be a full-time entrepreneur when I was four months pregnant I went to my husband and said I can't do all four I can't be a wife, I can't be a mother, and I can't be an entrepreneur. And he said, you're not going back to work, are you? And I said, give me one full year to run this business, and if we are about to get put out of our house, or if we can't pay the bills anymore, I'll go back and, and get a job. I am happy to announce that I have been a full-time entrepreneur for three years, and in the last three years, I've also generated six figures or more. And in order to be a boss, you have to make some money, because you can love your product, and you can love your service, but if your customers or your clients do not, you're not winning, therefore, you're not a boss what also makes you a boss is your ability to take risks matter of fact that's a definition of an entrepreneur an entrepreneur is a person who assumes the responsibility of operating or owning a business so there is no guarantees so if you have the guts the fire the will how the know-how the brain to actually learn and grow that's what it takes to be a boss you can't walk into this world thinking that you know everything about business and that's why I'm so excited about this opportunity because I have the option and opportunity to learn from someone who's been there doing that and still doing it what else I think that makes someone a true boss is their ability to actually give back so not only do I have my custom clutches for sororities and for historically black colleges I have my own line called clutches for a cause where I create clutches for different causes such as breast cancer and lupus and I give back a portion of those proceeds to people who are currently living with that cause so being a boss isn't just about making money. It's about over obstac overcoming obstacles and still moving forward. It's about giving back to your community. And it's also about always being a student. I believe just because you graduate from high school or college doesn't mean that the learning process stops. In fact, it keeps going. And a true boss is always learning. And that's why I consider myself a boss. Thank you so much.